Segments is an envelope generator or a multi-stage envelope generator. It's a normal envelope with attack and decay and sustain and release and so on. The big difference is that you can actually draw in your own shape. Uh, besides that, it's a normal envelope. You can trigger it with the keyboard. So when you press a key, you play through the cycle of the envelope. We have here a sustain uh, phase that you can define. And you can also define how this sustain phase behaves. So you have different play modes here below that. So one shot, right, plays just the whole sequence one time. You have hold. So it stays at this point here and holds the value. Then we have repeat. And you can see here this blue little section is repeated then when you hold the key until you release the key and then you play the release uh, section here. Then we have here also ping pong. So it plays back and forth, right? And so on. So we leave this here on one shot. So we have here um, the space where we can define our own shape and I we get to this in a minute. We have also here a small little folder where we can open up a predefined curve, something like this here, confirm it or yeah, do something like this. Uh, then we have here the amount slider. This is the modulation amount. When you apply your modulation to a certain knob, you can change here the amount in percentage if you want to. You have also your bipolar settings. So we can also have uh, positive and negative values instead of just positive values. This is also possible. Then we have here also a rate setting, which is kind of weird for an envelope, but it makes sense because we want to change maybe how fast this envelope envelope is played back over time, right? So here uh, we have dialed in one bar. So this whole segment here is played back over the curse of one bar. If you want to play this back even faster, then you can dial in here, of course, 0 0.5. So it's just a half a bar. Um, and then the playback is much, much faster than just one bar. Or you can dial in here seconds if you want to define this uh, playback speed in seconds if you want to. Or you can use your um, predefined time base settings um, that synchronize to your project tempo, right? Half note, eight note. So eight note is basically this at one, one eight note is the whole segment is played back within one eight note. So pretty fast or fairly fast. <laughs> um, then we have here down um, the smoothing option. It's the same like on the curve uh, LFO where you can um, yeah, smooth out certain edges when we have drastic changes here and we introduce a lot of pops and clicks. Then we can just dial in your bit of smoothing or even disable it to get rid of this. Then we have a pulley and a monophonic toggle here. So we can use the LFO or the envelope with multiple keys at the same time. So polyphonic mode. Um, that's the time bias. And yeah, that's basically it. Also in the inspector, we have a single trigger option. So when you have uh, this in mono mode, so this is disabled then this becomes active, as you can see, right? So single trigger, and this means keeps overlapping nodes from re-triggering the envelope. So this means if you press one node and then you press while holding the old key, another key, the envelope is not re-triggered. It keeps playing, basically. If you disable this and you hold one node and then you press another node while holding the old key, it's re-triggered, right? It starts from the beginning again. So this is basically the re-trigger behavior when in monophonic mode. Okay, so we attach this here to polysynth and in here we have all the options I just explained. Maybe we increase here the sizing and we can, uh, as before on the curve LFO, we can edit this here by just clicking on the space and we close this down by also clicking. We can also right click on this and load the curve, predefined curve, something like this here. Or we can right click and save the curve, copy the curve, paste the curve. So when we have multiple of these segments or curve LFOs, we can just copy and paste different uh, 
different shapes, right, from one LFO to the other, or from one segment to the other. So this is possible. So just click in here and we have this editor. We can resize or move this around and then also use here the Alt key and the scroll wheel and Control key in the scroll wheel to move and size. And we can draw in freely here with this pencil or we can use these predefined shapes here and draw in these um, yeah, segments. We can also change the segments by changing here the grid size, the snapping 12, maybe eight would be useful. One bar, is this one bar, one bar. Okay, so we divide basically one bar into eight e equal segments, right? So this is one eight node, one eight node and so on. So we can use this here to draw in a nice envelope to that. Or we use these shapes here is also also easy to use, right? Maybe pull this down to four and then have here one big saw or maybe a reversed one, something like this. And now it works exactly like before, only now we have in, uh, we drawn in a custom shape. You can trigger this. You can see here, it's it stays here at this point because we haven't actually um, changed here our sustain phase. So we can loop here at a certain point, something like this, right? So we define this section here as our sustain phase. So we switch this here to ping pong. So this should loop here while we are holding, holding the key on the keyboard. And it just repeats in ping pong uh, shape ping pong playback it's also possible and we can modulate of course something with it let's use here these these things and we can also draw in some slopes by just holding alt key and then dragging here these lines, double clicking to remove, double click, double click, and just draw in some nice slopes there. Right, so it's a normal envelope, uh, exactly like the ADSR here, um, ADSR. But here we have a predefined four stage uh, shape, attack, decay, sustain, release. Um, it's basically the same, but here we can draw in our own shape and you know get more modulation, more movement into something, into modulations. Um, this also works here at uh, audio rate so you can use the pitch here pitch of current note so it plays back basically at the frequency of the key you are pressing it's not really audible yeah pull this down to um, 0.25 So also this envelope works at audio rate, which is pretty interesting. And um, you can draw in your own shapes. It's a perfect multi-stage envelope generator a lot of people want for years now. In Bitwig Studio, polyphonic, and you can attach to any device how many you want. Fantastic.